Hey everyone, it's Laura and welcome back for another plan with me this week. So I'm going to be planning from May the 29th through to the 4th of June and I'm going to be using a kit from Elizabeth Plans and this is the Market Street kit. It comes with obviously your full boxes, your functional, your checklists, your little things, a decorative sheet and then your washi strips and top and bottom washies. I'm also going to put in some of this gold glitter washi which is so pretty every time I open my planner it just sparkles at me. So how I like to do the washi because obviously these are for the Erin Condren is I like to split these in half and sometimes I'll use them both top and bottom of my planner but I really like the quote at the bottom this week so I've decided to leave it and just cover up the date dots. I'm just going to cover up the days of the week with the date covers and then I will fill them in a bit later. I'm really sorry about my thumb, I've got a really sore cut on my thumb because I've been doing manual labour guys, like I've been in the garden. Me and manual labour just do not fix. So on a Monday I just stuck down a maroon to do header and I also stuck down a yellow or mustardy colour heart checkbox. I don't normally colour block in my planner although for some reason this week I have kind of stuck to the same colour in headers. I'm not sure why I've done that because I've never done that before but usually I like to kind of mix and match because I find it more interesting in my spread. So after adding my today header I just wanted to add a little bit of my sparkly gold washi because I wanted it behind the cleaning day sticker. I then put down my full box which was really hard to choose which full box to use on which day because they are all so pretty. I love this one because it's almost like a farmer's market, she's got her little bag with her shopping in, I really like it. So then I put down my little things header and then a half box which I will fill in afterwards. I also added a little laptop sticker there as well. Underneath I just wanted to section off some time so I just used my glitter tape again and then I just put down a TV little thing. She also had this ya sticker which I thought was perfect as this Monday was our bank holiday Monday. Then I just jotted down a few things that I wanted to get done and also that it was going to be half term this week. I'm just marking down that I wanted to upload this plan with me that you are now watching. And then my TV program is the film Kidnapped. Uh, I've got it for me and my daughter to watch because she's been wanting to watch that since she first saw the trailer. And the section of time that I wanted to mark out was for homework and I stuck this little emoji down that just says nope because that's normally what my children do. For Tuesday I just stuck down a lilac to do header with a light blue checklist and just pops a few things down that I needed to get done in the morning. I then went with a piece of mustard washi, solid washi, because I like to kind of put them behind my half boxes sometimes. I just think it adds a little bit of interest, if you like. And here I just wanted to mark down that we were going to the cinema. This kit didn't actually have a movie marquee included in it so I just done a half box and wrote cinema on and the children have been asking me actually for weeks if we could go to the cinema to go and watch the film Boss Baby. So that is what we are going to do on Tuesday. She did have a movie night sticker and although we're not going at night time I just thought I would use it because I wasn't going to be using it any other time in this spread so I thought I would just use it up there. So then I went through and made myself another glitter washi. The first one didn't, it wasn't long enough, I think I didn't cut it right because I always use my card to cut my washi which if you've seen my plan with me before then you would have known. Then I stuck down my full box. This full box is so pretty. It's got her little shopping bag with some lovely pair of legs. I wish my legs looked like that. I then stuck down my little things, a TV little thing and a dinners. I swapped out the mustard appointment label because I didn't like how it matched the dinner colour. So I just swapped that out and then just tried to find a piece of deco that would best suit what I had to do, which was to get the beach stuff ready for the next day. I just wrote down that we were going to have a warm chicken salad that day and that I had pretty little eyes on. For Wednesday I started with the mustard to-do header and then stuck down a maroon checklist. 
and then obviously I'm just writing down things that I needed to pack because this was going to be our beach day. I then put down my to today headers, I nearly said to do, today header and then I wanted to put my full box down but first of all I just wanted to mark down that it was beach day. So I just wrote beach day myself and then stuck my full box in. And then underneath I went with the pattern washi, I just used two strips because I just wanted to fill in the little gap there because all I needed to do was put another full box in and I went with the lilac full box and then underneath that I added two more strips of the same patterned washi as above so it kind of makes another full box if you like. I then stuck a smiling little emoji down and I was just writing what time we were going to meet up with everyone to go to the beach. I'm just adding the date covers again along the top to move on to the second part of the week. So I started with the lilac to clean header and then I'm just going to mark down everything that I wanted to kind of clean and get done this morning. During the holidays I have to try and cram everything in but at the same time spread it out through the week so I still get everything that I need to get done at home first and then we still be able to go out during the week as well. So I just have to speed clean cram it in. Under that I put the lilac today header and then added this really pretty full box which has got some flowers on. And then I put down a maroon half box because I wanted to mark down that we were going to be going wall climbing on this day. Then I put down this little, I still think that this is a polar bear but it's kind of gasping with his hands over his mouth because I'm pretty sure that's how I'm going to feel watching my children climb the wall. Under that I just put my little things and this time I actually used the little things that matched my headers and then used a different colour little things header. I don't know what was going on this day. For Friday I put down a maroon to do header and a light blue checklist. And then underneath that I just put a today and was deciding what kind of washi that I wanted to use because again I wanted to layer it behind my full box just to add a little bit of difference. Then just put down my little things header and my full box and I just wanted to mark down that I was going to have a little bit of me time because I've made it through the half term so I wanted to reward myself for keeping my sanity and I will come back and fill those in later. I also had a bilju this day so I wanted to mark that down and her kit does come with two bilju stickers. So for the morning I just wanted to mark down things that I had to get done. And then on this day we were actually going to be going snowboarding so I wanted to put that down as well and then I wanted to mark down the me time so I wanted to definitely have a bubble bath and I wanted to paint my nails in peace for 5 seconds. For Saturday I added a light blue today header and then I added the Sunday header in as well because I wanted to put this double strip of washi underneath as a background behind my weekend banner. I decided to move this upwards to make sure I had enough room for the rest of the plans that we would have this weekend. I used some of the patterned washi behind this half box as well just because I felt like it would be a little bit bare if I just had the half box by itself. Underneath I'm just putting my to-do header in the light blue and then I'm also going to add a lilac heart checklist which I kept thinking was off but it turns out the little things header was slightly off which was making my checklist look off so I just had to fix that and then I placed it down with no problem at all. For the full box I went with the Oh Honey one which I was going to be using for my quote box but in the end I decided to go with a different one. Then I just wanted to add in my little things which I've done in the light blue. So on Saturday we'll be going somewhere called the Norfolk Lavender Yard which is in King's Lane so it's a little dry from us but it's supposed to be super pretty with all of the lavender out everywhere and there's a big indoor play area so I'm really excited to take the children there. And then we're back to my normal grind of getting everything ready for school for Monday. Taking a mustard coloured heart checklist I'm just going to write things out that I wanted to get done. It really irritates me when my writing goes over the sticker but it happens. 
So underneath that I just wanted to definitely mark down that we were going to be having a lazy day this day or in the afternoon anyway because we've had such a busy week and the children have school the next day so I wanted to just, just relax. I then sat my full box down and a lilac appointment label. So this is what the spread is looking like so far so now we're going to do a sidebar. So I'm using my last full box to cover the calendar at the top and then underneath there I'm just putting a piece of patterned washi so then I can put down my habit tracker. I'm actually using two habit trackers this week so I laid another piece of patterned washi and then the other habit tracker. And then to incorporate my gold glitter tape that I've been using throughout the spread into the sidebar I just went and added a single layer underneath my habit tracker. The next week header was lilac in this kit so I just went with that and the light blue heart checklist. And then I also wanted to add a to buy because I had a few things that I wanted to get ready for half term for the children. So I just wanted to mark them down as well. I just trimmed off the overhang and also took another piece of patterned washi just to cover up the last heart as I didn't need that one. I put the phone icon down onto the second one because I like to track my Instagram and the other one is for my new face wash. I then jotted down a few things that I knew that was going to be happening next week. And then also filled in my to buy. Then I just went back and added in the dates. I can't believe that we're nearly in June. That is so crazy. I then went back and added some of the deco. This girl was really pretty, although she is ginormous, but I did add her in. And also, luckily, there was some lavender in the deco and we're going to a Norfolk lavender yard, so I thought that was pretty perfect, so I added that around. I then went through and just added a load of deco everywhere where I just wanted it to go. I also remembered that she had a food shopping sticker, so I just put a piece of deco over my handwriting and then put down her food shop sticker. Sometimes I like to have deco that hangs off the page and then I just trim anything that's kind of overhanging. I have been doing that a lot in my spreads lately, especially down at the bottom. This is what I have left from this kit if you are interested to see. So I might be able to use some of these in a different kit. And this is a close up of this week's spread. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. Bye guys.